everyone! I am here today with another Keep or Donate video and in this video I'm going to be swatching 10 of my nude lipsticks. So the reason I say nude is because some of them may belong more in the corally or pinky color family but I am going to be swatching all of them today because I had sorted them into my nude lipsticks. Now if you watched my arm swatch video you will have seen that I had a bunch of lipsticks, many more than 10 that I decided to hang on to but I'm only only swatching the 10 in this video that I was a little bit iffy about or I couldn't remember what it looked like on my lips so I wanted to swatch these ones to make a decision on them the rest of them I am um, almost a hundred percent going to keep so I'm not gonna bother swatching those because they're just way too many it's getting a little bit easier but I still wouldn't say it's easy for me it's still very difficult for me to part with products especially products that I like and that I paid money for but um, any Anyway, slowly but surely, I'm going to try to dwindle down my collection. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first lipstick I'm going to try on is this Little Julep Mini. This is in T for Two and it's a very sheer color. So I'm going to try to see if I can build it up and um, decide whether or not I'm going to keep it. It's really pretty in the tube. So here is T for two on my lips. I don't know if you can tell on this video whether there's a difference from my um, natural lip versus this. It almost reminds me just of a very mildly tinted lip balm. The next lipstick I'm going to try on is by Starlux and this is in Cream Caramel. Used to really really love this shade. I wore it a whole bunch and um, I think you can sort of tell although I can't remember how much product was in here. But anyway let me put it on and see what it looks like. So here is Cream Caramel on my lips, and I definitely remember why I love this shade so much. It's beautiful on, very nude, yet it's so creamy and so buttery soft on. Very, very moisturizing, so I am going to hang on to this one, and I'm going to try to remember to use it because this used to be one of my favorite lippies, and I don't know, I just put it aside because I had too many products, and I'm happy that I rediscovered it and that I'm going to go back to it. The next lippie I'm going to try is by Laura Mercier, and this is in the shade Baby Lips. So here is what it looks like in the tube. I almost let this one go when I was doing one of my previous decluttering videos, but I'm glad I hung on to it. The Laura Mercier lipsticks I really enjoy. They do have a little bit of a strong scent, I would say, a little bit of a sweet vanilla type scent, but I still really like it because there is no flavor, there's only a scent. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. Next up is another Laura Mercier lipstick, and this one is in Brown Sugar. I think I like brown sugar even more than baby lips. It's got more of a nude color to it, whereas baby lips has a lot of pink in it. I'm really, really happy I hung on to these. I was so close to letting them go. I did let go of the two shimmery ones, but I kept the ones that are more of a cream formulation. They are pretty sheer, but they're so comfortable on the lips, and I think the shade really flatters my skin tone. Next up is my Deborah Lipman lipstick in Drops of Brandy. This one does have shimmer in it. It's got a bit of a gold shimmer. So here is what Drops of Brandy looks like on my lips. There is a bit of a gold shimmer that gives it a little bit of a frost-like effect. I'm not 100% sure about this one. This one does remind me a little bit of the 90s, so the retro aspect I do like, but I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of this one, so I think I'm going to review the footage and decide when I'm editing the video. Next I'm going to try on this Power Pout by Makeup Academy. This is a color intense tint and balm, so it's a jumbo lip crayon that I kind of broke yesterday because it fell. So here is the Makeup Academy lip product on my lips. I should mention this is in the shade Rendezvous. I really like the color, I like the texture, I like the way it applies. It's very creamy and it feels like it would be really moisturizing. However, it has a little bit of a plasticky and minty flavor and that for me is a deal breaker. I don't like any products that are flavored or that have a flavor. Next up, I'm gonna try this little mini from Makeup Forever. This is in the shade 6N. 
This is a beautiful shade. It's definitely more of a rose color and not so much of a nude, but I still really like it and I am going to hang on to it. The next little mini I'm gonna try is by Hourglass and this is in the shade Grace. Very tiny sample, but um, it's really cute. Here is Grace on my lips. This is definitely a nude shade and I really like it. It's on the lighter side, but I think it's still flattering and it doesn't wash me out. It's a little mini, so I am going to hang on to it and try to use it up. The next lipstick is by Milani and Pebbles actually gave this to me in our swap. This is in Dolce Caramello and it's a really, really pretty uh, pinky nude with a hint of shimmer in it. Here is Dolce Caramello on my lips. I think it's beautiful. I love bringing the shade with me when I go on vacation, especially when I go someplace warm and sunny. I just think it's really flattering and really beautiful. So I am going to hang on to this one. The last product I'm gonna swatch today is by Buxom, and this is one of their lipsticks in the shade Amsterdam. This is another shade that I really love. It's a beautiful nude. It's right up my alley. It's got a little bit of a peachy undertone to it, but I think it's really, really pretty and really flattering on my skin tone. So I am going to hang on to this one. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be back real soon with uh, my pink lipstick declutter. That's going to be a challenge because I have a ton and there are darks and lights and this and that. So I don't think I'll be able to get rid of too many, but um, I will do my best. Thanks again so much for watching this video. If you are still in the process of decluttering, I would love to hear about it down below. I will see you again real soon with another video. Until then, please take care and bye for now.